Good morning, good morning, good morning. Today I will be teaching you something very much important, which is titled How to Manage Catfish Fry to Fingerling Level. We have many people who can hash catfish, but not all can successfully manage catfish fry to fingerling level. One of the causes the trainer might, might teach you how to hash, but might not be careful to teach you how to manage them to fingerling level. One of the secrets of healthy management of catfish fry is maintaining a healthy water quality. Ensure water quality is balanced, maintain the IDPH of 6.5 to 7.5 using water test kit and the necessary chemicals that are needed to balance them, such as sodium bicarbonate and sodium ash. These are two chemicals I normally use and then um, they have been effective in the process. Ensure you run a steady flow of water. Let water be coming in and been going out. This have a way of removing tossing, tossing that are harmful and detrimental to the life of this fish. As you can see, that's our flow through system. We would normally make use of turn down pipe. Once you bring it down, we maintain a level, water comes in and then um, keep going out. Inside there is well screen to prevent fish from escaping. Ensure you siphon on fed feed and debris daily. We make use of pipes in removing um, on fed feed and um, debris that are in the pond. When you fail to do this, they normally have advanced effects in the life of the fish. Mix their feed with multivitamins and fish antibiotics you can get this in veterinary centers they have a way of boosting the immunity of this fish from the tender level as a fish grows spread them so that they can grow very fast and avoid overcrowding start sorting by picking up shooters after two weeks shooters are those big ones you can see with big head when you fail to sort them they cultivate the habit of constantly feeding on the upgrowing fries and thereby reducing the number of the fish so it's necessary you sort them as you can see them sorting is easily done by reducing the water quality water volume then using scoop nets in picking them up feed chart i'm going to be giving you um a chart that will enable you to feed your fish very well now when these fish hash between the one to the four they don't feed on anything rather they make use of the yolk that they come home with so after four days, that is when you start feeding them. You start with 0.2 mm. I'm going to feed them 0.2 mm for two weeks. After two weeks, you will now move to 0.5 mm. You're going to feed them 0.5 mm for the next two weeks. That's one month. Now after one month, you can now introduce 0.8 to 1 mm, which you use for the next two weeks, making it six weeks. At this stage, your fish are very much ready for sale. All you need to do is to get your counting board. That's what you are doing. And sort and count the number of um, fingerlings that you have and then um, call your buyers to come and pick them up so I can continue your process now if you have a challenge in marketing them you can always call us we have good strategies that make selling of fingerlings very very easy and if you are still having hash with challenge you can still call us we, we install hash fish and we also work on hash fish to ensure that they are effectively used. Thank you for watching our videos. Thank you so much. Fish College have the best for you and will continue to feed you with information that will enable you to be a successful fish breeder. Thank you.
Thank you so much for watching our video. I'm sure you learned something. I go Feel always free to subscribe, pray for to like, you. and comment on our videos. We are Make the grace to of you. Jesus well, thank see you for watching, you subscribing, liking, and commenting. Pray for videos. you. The management team of Fish College. Love As you. All so of us they go to serve you. Spirit thank you. Now good to read. We go to tell when we see again. Forgive me uh, So that when we see again You know go get